There are many significant improvements and additions in this latest version of Villain branded as Unleashed. It now better resembles a C2 framework capable of handling multiple reversal sessions of the most common payloads we all use. For example, that could be MSF Venom generated executables or commands from sources like payload all the things and reps.com while it enhances their functionality, offering additional commands and utilities, and of course, sharing them among connected sibling servers. First of all, the payload generator has been completely redesigned. Before it was something like generate OS equals Windows or Linux or some other arguments, uh, but I actually uh, decided to go with the more complete uh, payload templates. You can see this is, for example, a payload template for Python 3, reverse TCP, for Linux uh, systems. And it's supposed to be handled by Netcat because we have also Hoxel payloads here that are would be handled by this uh, handler right here. And uh, you can see the command, you definitely recognize it. It's really classic. I just have edited a bit to use no HAP and this zone that maybe if you have established a cell with this command, it could survive uh, closing the terminal or uh, the user logging out or something like that. You can use this structure to add your own uh, payloads in Villain now. And uh, let's let's see how it works. It's a little bit uh, different. For example, you need to do generate. The main argument is, is payload. And then you have to, do, to choose uh, in, uh, in a way like a directory hierarchy. For example, you will do... You can read this in the help message. It's like operating system and then uh, handler. It can be Netcat or Hoxel. Let's do Netcat, which is much more stable and has much more to offer you than Hoxel. But Hoxel remains an option in depending on what you you are trying to achieve. Uh, but I strongly recommend you stay with Netcat and uh, Windows Netcat, and then you can just use autocomplete to see the menu. And I'm gonna do. Let's cut a few cells. I'm gonna do PowerShell reverse TCP. The other argument I need to parse is lhost. It's much simpler. These two arguments are enough to get your. Uh, your payload so let's do f0 and uh, this could be a domain name or an ip address let's do this and here we go let's grab this cell i'm gonna run it on my machine i will poison my windows host and here we have a backdoor session um, if i do backdoors i can see uh, the ip that is a powercell.exe the listener is netcat it's stable there's there's a lot to talk about why villain might characterize a cell as stable or unstable in in its latest version but i don't want this video to be super long so it doesn't really matter at this point you can find this information in the repository uh so let's also gonna clear and generate one more payload for linux this time again netcat i told you i really prefer it and i think you should too uh let's do python because it's really stable lhost equals f0 so once again i'm just gonna poison my own machine we should get another backdoor session. We have two right now. One in this uh, PowerShell that we executed before and uh, this very own box that is running villain as we speak. And uh, it's just an example, of course. Let's see one of the features that is also significantly improved. It's the cell, the pseudo interactive cell that you get for a session that you have successfully established has been significantly improved. And you can see right now, for example, in this bus cell that uh, it's trying to maintain. It's of course not fully interactive pty but it's trying and it maintains as much of the features and colors and everything as it can and if i do for example cell which would kind of downgrade it it will still work for me and if i do z cell it would still work for me of course it's not z cell because it doesn't have the features uh, that z cell provides but it's it's definitely better than what it was before and it's trying its best to be stable and uh, uh functional in the best way and uh, let's just do the same and check out uh, this windows one and you can see you can change directories uh, it's pretty much uh, a lot better than it, what it was so far let's check out something new and juicy now there is a new command upload which you can use to upload files to a compromised machine and i'm going to minimize this a little bit so we can see my desktop here and i'm going to do this let's choose um this windows my windows host I'm gonna do cell and as we browse and etc i can just do now upload and uh, I, I would have to choose the resource from my operating system let's do user share uh windows resources mimigas mimicads x64 mimicads 
users.dxc and I'm going to upload it on my desktop. Uh, users pxart is the name of the user we have compromised right now. Let's put it on the desktop uh, and call it mimicads.exe and you will see it will just appear here and you can use this function also you can use it outside of uh, a cell a pseudo cell you can just do upload you will just have to add uh, the session uh, id that you want to, to use this so let's do mimicads2 for example and here we'll have another one it's just easier inside the cell because you don't need it it uh, parses the session id automatically Speaking of new cool features, I've also added the possibility for you to run conpty cell. And if you don't know this project, you should immediately Google invoke conpty cell and go to GitHub and check it out. It's a PowerShell script that also has a lot of C sharp inside that can nevertheless uh, give you a fully interactive uh, reversal on Windows machines. And uh, I, I love it so much that I, that I just added this command conpty cell. Uh, you need to pass a new uh, the interface again and a port for because there will be a new cell established you will see it in a moment and if you just uh, have established a power cell uh, reverse cell you can just slap it in and this is going to set up a new listener for you and grab the cell the incoming cell uh, that is also a fully interactive reverse cell and uh, at the moment because i i actually added a slightly modified and obfuscated version of the script it's also undetected at the moment so that's also something new about Villain Unleashed. You can also use exec to run a script that's the same type with a, a session. And let's do backdoors. For example, I can use exec to run a script from my operating system, a PowerShell script against the session or a bash script against this one. And uh, I'm going to generate a Linux netcat uh, Python 3 reversal command. And I'm going to poison again my machine. This time I'm going to switch to Kali because I don't want a, a, a root user to do this because it would take longer. I'm going to execute Linpis against it from my file system. So we have a new session. Uh, it's the same IP, it's the same host. Uh, this actually very host. And I'm going to do exec and in opt Linux uh, prevesc Linpis. I have Linpis and I'm going to execute it uh, directly from uh villain against this session and i have to admit this is not the most stable <laughs> uh function that that this framework provides uh and also you cannot really stop this because this is not a fully functional pty again so you can just control c out of it you will beat it in the face and let's do this let's see how it works a little bit i think i'm gonna speed up the video because this is gonna take a little while to complete And there we go. For the next example, we're gonna need a second uh, instance of villain just to connect these two together and uh, check out the new feature, uh, a chat wannabe functionality. So I'm gonna connect to this host from this new machine I just started. Uh, the team server port is 6501. You can connect villain instances with, with each other like this and they will synchronize after uh, the machine you're trying to connect to solves the challenge and accepts your connection and let's just go back so we synchronize and this one can also see this new uh, these two sessions and uh, let's uh, let's check out the chat functionality so basically everything now that starts with a sharp in this main villain prompt will be interpreted as a message and will be broadcasted to every connected villain instance for example let's say uh, hi guys let's hack and I can see that uh, this is the host name of this machine. Actually, the host name is please subscribe. This is why you see this here. And maybe we can reply. Okay, let's be hack source, but uh, ethical ones. Okay, so don't be bad, don't be evil. So Telemachus says, okay, let's be hack source, but the ethical ones. And uh, this is the, another new thing in Villain Unleashed. You can just send messages this way. There are some new stuff regarding Hoxel as well. I think there is a new payload that is still not detected. It's a uh, Windows one. Windows uh, Hoxel. It's a CMD CURL. It's doing some weird stuff. It's really weird. I'm gonna just generate it and slap it uh, in a CMD cell. 
And let's see what we got here. Okay, I'm gonna just control it from the sibling. It's the same thing. So yeah, you can see it here, cmd.exe. You can see Hoxel as a listener. It's unstable. All Hoxel cells will be characterized as unstable because Hoxel is a hoax cell. Some weird uh, way with HTTP to get command and control and stuff like that. So let's just see the feeling. Uh, you will not have... Uh, in, in unstable cells, usually you will not get a prompt. A, a normal prompt. I mean a prompt that you can uh, uh, switch directories and stuff like that. But Villain is doing the best it can with its two different handlers to give you the best user experience. And I have high hopes that in the future it's going to be improved even more. That was a super quick preview of what's changed and what was uh, uh, upgraded in this latest Villain Unleashed release. And uh, feel free to download it. It's super easy to install. It's super quick to connect with others and start messing around with cells, sharing commands and sharing... Uh, everything and uh, playing together, maybe CTFs or even in actual penetration testings, you can use this to do your redeeming and have an overview of what you did as a team. If you want to support the project, you can just drop a, a star on GitHub or follow me on Twitter here, there, <laughs> GitHub, YouTube, whatever you want, or maybe not. So I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I'll make sure to keep developing, keep, keep improving it so you can just check it back from time to time to see if there's an update or something. Thanks for watching.